the wire-haired pointing griffon, or Corthel's griffon as he is known in Europe, is a versatile hunting dog, bred and developed to hunt upland game, waterfowl, and even fur. Strong, vigorous, and superbly protected by his rough, harsh coat, he handles any terrain from woods to swamp with equal ability. A closer working dog afield, he has remained in the hands of devoted hunters and is seldom seen as a field trial competitor. He has a considerable amount of point, an excellent nose, and handles easily. This establishes him as one of the finest dogs for preserve hunting or other restricted areas. With this in mind, any evaluation of the Griffon must emphasize the importance of correct size and coat texture. Both are of supreme importance in keeping the Griffon, as his heritage demands, an all-round hunting dog and devoted companion. Although Griffons are mentioned in 18th century hunting documents, the modern form of the breed is due to the efforts of a late 19th century Dutch breeder, Edward Korthels. His promotion of the breed in European field competition and benched shows soon spread the breed's popularity throughout Europe, so much so that outside the U.S. the breed is referred to as the Korthels Griffon. The hunting style and affectionate temperament was soon noticed by American visitors. The breed was brought to the U.S. and admitted to AKC registration in 1887. You'll be seeing many wire-haired pointing Griffons during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed, others are less so. All will help your understanding of the Griffon. Keep in mind as you judge this breed that you must consider the entire dog. Conformation, temperament, coat, and movement must all combine to produce a dog capable of hunting over any terrain. In general appearance, the wire-haired pointing Griffon is a medium-sized gun dog, slightly longer than tall. His head reflects a square shape, giving his profile a noble bearded appearance. He is strong of limb and is bred to cover all types of terrain encountered by a hunter on foot and is equally adept at pointing in the field or retrieving in the water. He has a hard, coarse coat with a thick undercoat of fine hair. This combination provides the protection he needs against briars in the field and retrieving in cold water. The soft, fine hair of the undercoat extends up over the head to add protection to the face by forming his mustache and beard. This gives the Griffon an unkempt appearance. He is easily trained and great emphasis is placed on his ability to hunt both marsh and field. The Griffon covers ground in an efficient, tireless manner with proper coordination between front and rear and a light, easy stride. In proportion, both dogs and bitches are slightly longer than tall, in a ratio of 10 to 9. The Griffon must not evolve towards a square conformation. Dogs stand 22 to 24 inches at the withers, bitches 20 to 22 inches. Correct size is important in this breed. Oversized specimens are to be severely penalized. The Griffon is of medium substance, reflecting work as an all-terrain hunting dog. 